This video explains how to create a research question. In order to create a research question, you must first formulate a research problem. But how do you do this? The first thing you should do is brainstorm. You can identify a broad field or range of topics. Try to identify what is interesting to you, what fascinates you. Really think about this. It may be something that you will be focusing on for a while, and therefore you want to pick a topic that you'll enjoy. You can review literature in your field. You can go on the internet, look in newspapers, or read books. We find residential design interesting. Step two would be to dissect this broad field that you have selected. Break down your topic into sub-areas. Again, you should select what is interesting to you. For example, you can take the broad topic, residential design, and break it into sub-areas, such as suburban developments and neighborhoods, sustainable residential design, and materials, such as bricks and wood. We find residential sustainable design to be a very interesting topic. Now that we have identified a topic, we can develop our research problem by looking at the four P's. This will help us raise questions. The first P stands for people. Who does it affect? This would be the study population. For example, when we look at sustainable residential design, we could be looking at suburban houses and therefore suburban families. The second P stands for problem. What is the issue? When considering sustainability, an example could be air pollution, water pollution, and how these are negatively impacting society and our well-being. The third P stands for program. You can evaluate the effectiveness of a program. For example, for sustainable design, you could look at LEED, green building strategies, The fourth P stands for phenomenon. We could look at the existence of irregularity. For example, we could look at the increasing norm of sustainable buildings and building practices. Now that we have isolated factors and issues and have done some background reading, such as a literature review, we are now ready to restate the research problem as a researchable question. This is step four, formulate a question. Here is an example of a question that we have developed. How do you design a sustainable home? This is a good question, however, it is relatively broad. We need to narrow this question down and make it more researchable. To start, we can look at the question. This question seems simple, however, it is very broad in scope. To become a researchable question, it needs to be more specific. This can be done by breaking down the key terms and concepts of the question. What do we mean by design? What do we mean by sustainable? And what do we mean by home? Are we looking at a particular type of home? Are we considering it a dwelling? What do we mean by these terms? By breaking down these terms, this will help make the question a question that we can actually answer by making the question more specific. Now we can rewrite our research question. What environmental considerations can be implemented in the interior design of a Canadian single family residential dwelling to create a more sustainable residence? This question can also be reworded. What aspects of sustainability can be implemented to the interior design of a Canadian single family residence? Both of these questions work very well and are researchable. We have expanded our terms and made it more specific. We can also identify the different variables in this question, but we'll save that for another lecture.